Hello, and then of course, welcome. We're doing a very special program today. Have you ever thought about going to Ghana? Are you a resident here? thought about probably building a home there well today we have some people in the house here who'll be able to give you information not only about building but also about financing as well I want to introduce you now De Deftacro and Ghana Home Loans stay in the house with us hello then welcome to our program today hello. please introduce yourself to us hi my name is Joseph from Deftacro Deftacro okay Joseph welcome and my name is Juanita I present Ghana Home Loans and finally I'm and I'm Kujo, also with Ghana Home Loans. As I said at the top of the program, for many of us, we're constantly thinking possibly about returning home. Also, you have a lot of the Caribbean people who are really thinking, you know what, I'd like to set up a place in Ghana after going there on a holiday. Of course, you have the Europeans. But there's always sometimes a difficulty. Who do you really trust? Is there going to be accreditable builders that you can rely on? When completion, will it actually finish in time? So I'm glad you guys are here. A reputable, I must say, um, uh, links together. How did this whole fusion come together? Because you have the builders, and of course, rightly so, you've got the finance side. Right, so tell me, how did it come together? Well, um, Dev Traco thought about coming overseas to introduce our homes to Ghanaians, Nigerians, and West Africans basically in diaspora um, because we know they're busy and they don't get the time to really come home. So we figured, okay, we'll come here and introduce our products to them. But then in doing that, we thought about offering a perfect, complete solution. And Kojo and I, Ghana Home Loans, we've been working together for a long time. So I picked up the phone and just called him and said to him, Kojo, would you come along? And he pretty much said, why not? So. That's, that's that, we decided we'll do it together and, and go for them a complete solution. Right, so we know we've got an exhibition coming up, but for those of us who are pondering about the finance, the fact that you've got a package together, um, when he spoke to you, what was the thing that was going on in your mind uh, as a financial person? Is that something that you felt because of obviously years you've been involved in getting finances for companies, what is that, was it just an easy um, transmission for you? Yes, it was. I mean, just to explain what we do and how the two of us work together, mm -hmm. and we do this all the time, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, Def Traco is one of the leading developers in Ghana. Definitely anybody who's been to their estate will confirm this. Um, they do deliver a very good product. Um, and we are one of the leading, in fact, probably the, the leading mortgage finance company in Ghana. Um, and what we do is we provide finance to people looking to buy housing units from Def Traco. Uh, we do this in Ghana all the time. Um, and so when Joseph called me and said he was coming out to London, I said, well, we'll go over to London and go do it there too. Um, but anybody who's gone to either Def Traco website or Ghana Home Lo Loans website would find the others um, institution being referred to because we do work a lot together. Right. And I want to break it down. Um, the vision. Tell us a little about the areas that are available location spots is it near to is it in a city area break it down for our viewers um Def Traco's present development Def Traco courts is located about 25 minutes away from the city center when i say city center that is the accra tetakwashi roundabout where the accra mall is located um, it's a 205 acre master plan gated community development um, it's, it, it has various amenities in there, clubhouse, swimming pool, police station, shopping malls. It's, it's a really well-planned development, so I'm really, really proud to be a part of that Def Traco development. Mm -hmm. So, um, what sort of properties will you have? Would you have, um, is it homes, or houses, or would you be able to have flats, apartment buildings? Break it down even further because some of us might be thinking at this point, you know what, I don't really feel I have the budget for a, a house, a bungalow, but I'm considering, especially that I'm living here, I might be able to get an apartment that I might be able to lease out for holiday time. So is that going to be a possibility? I'm glad that you said that. Like I said, it's a planned uh, master plan community. And with that said, it has various house types and various units. Um, we start from two bedroom expandable units uh, to all the way up to five bedroom units. We have two bedroom apartments, three bedroom apartments that will be coming up soon. 
and for those that want to buy property but don't necessarily live there uh, um, most for the most part of the year, the purchase comes with estate management services. So you can buy your property, leave, come back home uh, to your second home, London or wherever, and rest assured that Def Draco Estate Management Services will manage your property and ensure that it maintains its value and even um, appreciate and value for you. I'm staying with you while we're talking about homes. Now we know that in other parts of Af Africa, of course, and B, there's always a power situation the lighting would there be generators break it down because you know when we think about home we hear so many stories and sometimes when we do go back home we go to the village you think you know I don't want village life but I do want to get back into Ghana so break it down is that something that you have already planned yes um, death track of courts once again uh, the, the development in question um, is connected to the national grid in terms of electricity and in terms of water so you have no water problems you have no electricity problems. Now, if you do want to buy a generator for yourself, uh, well, that's fine, but it's, it, you won't need it um, for the most part. But every once in a while, let's be honest, the lights go off in Africa. So if you buy a backup generator, it's, it's for your own good, but it's not something you would need. You're connected to the national grid in terms of electricity and water. Solar is something that's hit in Africa a lot. Someone might have been to Nigeria, and I see that many of our homes there, we're trying to rebuild, and, and we're really trying to link that link. Is that something that you're taking up on board as well. We are considering solar panels right now. The only problem is um, the initial acquisition uh, 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 cost when you add solar panels on becomes a bit more expensive and then pushes the price out of reach for the average buyer. So what we do is we don't offer it as a standard but if you want it as an add-on feature we would provide that for you. I hear you. Touching you, touch a little bit on the finance. We do need to knock in your door though on the, uh, the closure. Um, I've got, say, £20,000. The economy thing is really crazy at the minute in Britain. I'm pondering. I feel I'm ready to possibly now start doing something back home in Ghana or maybe a Caribbean person been there and think this is a place for me. Would that be sufficient for you to be able to help me to get that loan package? Break it down again for us so we have an idea. If you don't even have as much, is there a way that we can have 0% mortgage? Break it down. Right. Um, what we offer are 75% uh, loan-to-value 15-year mortgage facilities. Um, in the past, we did 85, but we've stopped doing that. We've gone back to 75%, which means in the example you gave, if you came to us with 20,000 as your deposit or your contribution towards the purchase, we would give you three times that, which is 60,000. So you'd be looking at an 80,000 pound house, subject to your income being able to support the 60,000 loan. So we would assess you for 60,000, and if you qualified, give you 60,000 in addition to the 20,000 you already have. Mm -hmm. And um, you could then go off and find yourself an 80,000 pound house, which would be quite a substantial property in Accra. You'll be able to do that. Yes. Juanita, you're sitting there. I know that you represent Gojo in the UK here. For those people who want to have a first time contact, will you be available for them to call you? Um, you'll be able to explain to them further details? Yes, we will. Um, we, we do have, we've we been working with Ghana Home Loans for some time now, so we do have, have uh, all the information that potential clients would need to be able to, to take a loan out from Ghana Home Loans. Mm -hmm. Now, um, for many of us, again, um, depending on our work and our job, are we able to transfer monies? How would that work out? Because I'm thinking about a payment plan. Of course, the banking system, like everywhere now, it's not that stable. Uh, how are you able to link that? Do we, we, we do it by money transfer? Um, we've, many of us have had really bad experiences with family members, and I'm really sorry to say it, but it is, we're human beings. And so we don't necessarily we want to say, I'll give my auntie or my mother or my uncle, because we want to be independent because we're in this part of the world. Will you be able to make certain transactions? Do we need to have a family member on site? Again, Koja, what's happening in that area? Well. And, and we've done this for several of our overseas clients who've taken mortgages for us. You have several options. Um, given that you've purchased or are about to purchase a house in Ghana, it does make sense to have a bank account in Ghana because you will have local expenditure which will come from time to time, service charges to the developer, you pay your taxes, you pay for refurbishments. So it does make sense to have a bank account in Ghana. And if you do have a bank account in Ghana, what happens is you give us uh, a standing order or post dated checks 
on that account in Ghana. So you wire the funds from your UK account into your Ghana account and then write checks to us from that account on a monthly basis mm. or you set up a standing order. So that's option one. Option two is to wire the money from your UK account into our correspondent banking accounts here in UK. Um, and when you do complete the mortgage application process, we'll tell you, we'll, we'll give you the bank details. So you can do that too. Others still insist on getting their family members to pay for them. So we're having a friend pay for them. So um, you, they give, um, they put money in the friend's account here and the friend then makes a similar payment to their mortgage account in Ghana. So there are several ways of doing it. In my mind, the easiest and the most practical is to have an account in Ghana because you will eventually find yourself writing checks to fix the house up or even when your tenant, if you don't live there, when the tenant wants to pay rent, you'd want them to pay into an account in Ghana. So it is practical to have an account there and we can help you set one up too with our partner banks. Um, but for those who don't want to do that, you can just wire money to us on a monthly basis into our local account. Money transfer is very expensive and you wouldn't want to be doing that for 15 years. It does add up to quite a fair bit. Right, I'm hearing a lot of flexibility there. There is a lot of flexibility. Now, what do you tell us about the event which is taking place here so we can gear ourselves up for it? Well, the events are taking place um, on the 15th, 16th and the 23rd of May. Now, uh, the locations were strategically picked uh, between us, um, of course. We want to make it as convenient as possible for, for uh, uh, the everyday person that works. Um, so, uh, for example, the 15th lo location is in Stratford, um, East London. The 16th location is in um, Brixton, that's South London. And the 23rd location is in Islington, um, North London. So wherever you live and depending on your schedule those dates, you can make the dates. Once again, it's the 15th in Stratford, the 16th in Brixton and the 23rd in Islington. Right. Now, when we come along on that day, what are we going to hear? Who's going to be available for us to discuss and for us to look at things? Well, when you come along that day, DevTracker, as a developer, will be there to uh, uh, offer you the different uh, homes that we have available. And uh, I'd like to say that it would amaze you that you would, you would be able to buy a home in a world-class development for less than £30,000, okay? And then Kojo and his team, Ghana Home Loans, will be there to provide you the financing uh, uh, to be able to buy such a home. Mm -hmm. Looking very, very Amongst helpful. others, uh, there'll be some, some, some speakers there, some... Uh, can you give a hint or do you have to come on the day? <laughs> you have to come on the day to find out. But there will be right. some, some ex valued customers that will be there to speak and, and, and share the experiences right. from um, buying from DevTracker. So you have a real guarantee. Yes. Now when we come on the day, will we be able to see slides as to the properties that you've done before and of course where this place is, we'll be able to see all of that as well? Absolutely. When you come, you would know basically all about death track when you come and you leave and you go home the next day when you wake up you wake up thinking death track <laughs> he knows how to definitely coach i want to go back to you a little bit now um you said you've worked a lot together yeah. um have you done this in america with other international bodies or um it's predominantly been europe it's predominantly been in europe but we cover clients all over the world we have you know, Ghanaians based in and non-Ghanaians actually based in Australia, Japan, all over, buying homes back in Ghana and using our financing packages to arrange the funding. Mm -hmm. Why I'm pressing this is because we know that so many of us still can be very fearful and credibility is paramount. The mm -hmm. fact that you're on here, we know that there's obviously a guarantee there. So I always just need to speak on behalf of our viewers tap in there. Juanita, I know that you will be here um, as a main contact for Kojo, am I right in saying that? That's right. Yeah. So your telephone number, email, once you've also be at there on the day as well, yes. so people can interact and, yes. and find out other things. Yes. Now, for those who are not African, who are not even Caribbean, but are European viewers who've been to Ghana and absolutely love it, the food, everything, and also are thinking, who may be watching us from Europe, can they email you as well with their thoughts and so forth? Were you prepared for that as well? Absolutely. Um, I know I'm prepared. I, mean, I know Kojo and his team are prepared. I mean, one of the things that you get greeted uh, to when you come to Ghana is Aquaba, which basically means welcome. So anybody and everybody is welcome to this event. Mm -hmm. 